Hi, my name is Teresa Valtteri. I'm a PhD student here in the music department, and today I'm going to show you how to use the BioInfinity hardware, which is used to record physiological measurements. Okay, so this is the BioInfinity hardware. It sits here on top of the piano, and next to it is the BioInfinity manual, so if you ever have any questions, you can take a look in here and hopefully they'll be answered. Okay, so this is the case that the hardware comes in. This first bit is the five channel encoder, which will be connected to the USB interface unit. And those two connect together using the fiber optic cable. And eventually, you'll connect this all to a computer using a firewire cable. Now I'm going to show you the four sensors that you will connect to the encoder. So the first is a respiration belt. Next is the blood volume pressure sensor. Next is the skin conductance response sensor. And lastly is the body temperature sensor. So first, you'll take the five channel encoder and you'll need to double check that there's batteries on the inside. The encoder takes four AA batteries. You'll want to connect it to the USB interface using this fiber optic cable. To connect the 5 channel encoder to the USB interface unit, you'll use this fiber optic cable. You should note the black line on the cable. First, you'll take the encoder and you'll loosen the screw. Once it is loose, you can insert the fiber optic cable. It should be inserted until the black line disappears. You will then tighten the screw. You will follow the same procedure to connect it to the USB interface. Again, note the black line. Next, you want to connect the USB interface unit to the computer. You'll do this using the FireWire cable. First, plug the FireWire unit into the USB interface unit. Next, you'll plug the USB side into the USB port of the computer. This is the blood volume pressure sensor. You can connect it to the encoder using this end of the cable. Typically, this sensor is connected to the B channel. Mm. This is the blood volume pressure sensor. It will go on the non-dominant hand of your participant. Here you can see the sensor. It will go on the second finger on the first section of the finger. When wrapping the sensor on the finger, make sure that it's not too tight, otherwise the sensor can't read the blood volume pressure. But also make sure that it's not too loose so as to fall off the finger. This is the skin conductance response sensor. It will go in channel E. Mm -hmm. This sensor will go on the first and the third finger, again on the first section of the finger. This is the respiration belt. It goes into channel D. Here is a respiration sensor. It goes around the diaphragm.
The belt does not need to be too loose or too tight. This sensor works by moving back and forth as a participant breathes. This is the body temperature sensor. It plugs into channel E. The sensor needs to go on the palm of the participant. You can connect the sensor using a piece of tape or plaster. I have moved the encoder over to the other desk in the lab. I've done that because this is where the participant will sit. It is best to first move the encoder over, then connect the sensors to the channels, then connect the sensors to the participant. After you've done this, you can turn the encoder on. You can see the blue light when the encoder turns on. You are now ready to begin the experiment. Make sure that you put all the hardware back into the case correctly.